Hello dear students today we'll be going to discuss a cell organelle known as the lysosomes these lysosomes are basically called as digestive bodies because their chief role is digestion they were earlier called as pericanalicular bodies but later on a scientist known as the C D Dube discovered them in the liver cells not only these lysosomes are found in the animal cell but they are found in plant cells also but they are more frequently found in the animal cells to justify this statement that they are also found in the plant cell a scientist named P Martel reported the lysosomes in neurospora fungi size of the lysosome they are not so much big they are very very small they are round structures and their size varies from 0.23 microns to 0.50 microns they are single membrane bound organelles and they are absent in the human rbc as well as they are absent in prokaryotes once again i am repeating they are single membrane bound organelles they are absent in the human rbc and they are also absent in the prokaryotes now the very chief function of the lysosome is that they are acting as suicide bags means what what do you mean by the word suicide means what they digest the damaged and the aging cells many wear and tear going on in our body and the cells become regularly damaged and regularly aged to remove that cells to digest that cells this work is done by the lysosomes and hence they are called as the suicide bags not only this they are also digesting the external particles which are entering the cells therefore they are also called as the suicide bags now the question arises that lysosomes are chiefly concerned with the digestion then how it is possible that these lysosomes can do the process of the digestion so they can do this thing because of the presence of the enzymes filled in them they contain many hydrolytic enzymes now what type of hydrolytic enzymes are there so they contain acid phosphatase enzyme acid ribonuclease enzyme acid deoxyribonuclease enzyme cathepsin sulfates etc these hydrolytic enzymes are chiefly concerned with the digestion and therefore they can also be called it as digestive enzymes now the question arises that at what ph these enzymes work so these enzymes work at acidic ph acidic ph means ph below 7 so all these lysosomal enzymes all the lysosomal enzymes work at acidic ph and the ph is 5 all the enzymes work at the ph 5 now these lysosomes are also called as polymorphic cell organelle what is polymorphic poly means many morphic means forms they have many forms to justify this statement that they are having many forms lysosomes are of four categories number 1 primary lysosomes the second one are secondary lysosomes 
थर्ड वन रेजिडुअल बॉडी एंड द फोर्थ वन ऑटोफेजिक वैक्यूल विच सजेस्ट दैट लाइसोसोम इज पॉलीमोर्फिक सेल ऑर्गेनियल प्राइमरी लाइसोसोम सेकेंडरी लाइसोसोम रेजिडुअल बॉडी एंड ऑटोफेजिक वैक्यूल नाउ हैव अ लुक on the detailed description of all these four type of the enzymes first we are going to discuss the primary lysosomes first one primary lysosome they are containing hydrolytic enzymes only they are purely containing only the digestive enzymes and the very important thing is they are formed by golgi body they are formed by golgi body what happens that there is a chief component of golgi body known as cisterni from the cisterni what happens budding occurs from cisterni budding occurs and what happens primary lysosomes are formed so like this they are formed primary lysosomes contain hydrolytic enzymes only and they are formed by golgi body golgi body contains cisterni cisterni undergoes budding and it forms what the primary lysosome now the second one known as the secondary lysosome they are also called as digestive vacuole or we can also call them as heterophago some why because they are chiefly concerned with the digestion primary lysosome plus the food forms secondary lysosome means secondary lysosome contain the food as well as the hydrolytic enzymes like this type you can see that this was primary lysosome which was containing the enzymes hydrolytic enzymes now what happens when food comes inside the cell the food along with the primary lysosome form secondary lysosome what will happen these digestive enzymes will act on these food particles and will digest the food so this food along with the primary lysosome is called as secondary lysosome why it is called as digestive vacuole because secondary lysosome is concerned with the digestion of this food particle that's why it is called as what the digestive vacuole so this was the primary lysosome this was the secondary lysosome now the third one residual body residual body a secondary lysosome with undigested food is called residual body a secondary lysosome with undigested food is called residual body just now you have seen that in the secondary lysosome food was digested but not all the food is digested at least some amount of the food remain undigested then the secondary lysosome with undigested food is called as the residual body and the fourth one very very important autophagic 
वैक्यूल दिस ऑटोफेजिक वैक्यूल शोज ऑटोलाइसिस मीन्स वॉट द ऑटोफेजिक वैक्यूल द ऑटोफेजिक वैक्यूल इज फॉर्म ऑफ लाइसोसोम विच डाइजेस्ट इंट्रा सेल्युलर स्ट्रक्चर्स लाइक माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया एंड ई आर एक्सेट्रा एंडोप्लाज्म रेटिकुलम एक्सेट्रा ऑटोफेजिक वैक्यूल द ऑटोफेजिक वैक्यूल इज फॉर्म ऑफ लाइसोसोम विच डाइजेस्ट सर्टन इंटरसेलर स्ट्रक्चर लाइक माइट्रोकोन्ड्रिया ई आर एक्सेट्रा से फॉर दिस इज अ ऑटोफेजिक वैक्यूल एंड यू कैन सी दैट इट हैज डाइजेस्टेड द माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रिया वी कैन से दैट दिस इज अ ऑटोफेजिक वैक्यूल मीन्स इट इज शोइंग ऑटोलाइसिस ऑफ सेल्युलर कंपोनेंट सच एज माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रिया ई आर एक्सेट्रा तो दीज वर द फोर फॉर्म्स ऑफ द लाइसोसोम विच सजेस्ट दैट लाइसोसोम इज अ पॉलीमोर्फिक सेल ऑर्गेनिल नाउ वील बी ऑल्सो डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द स्टेबिलाईजर्स एंड लेबिलाइजर्स मेनी टाइम दिस क्वेश्चन इज आस्ड इन नीट एम्स एक्सेट्रा इन अदर एग्जाम्स that what are stabilizers as the name is indicating stabilizers are substances which give which give stability to lysosome membrane means there are various substances which give stability to the lysosome membrane and do not allow it to break these substances are for example cholesterol cortisone these are the two substances which are membrane stabilizers of lysosome the next one is labelizers Labelizers are substances which destabilize the lysosome membrane so that they can burst. For example, vitamin A. D E and K progesterone hormone and testosterone hormone and also ultraviolet rays all these substances vitamin A D E K progesterone testosterone and uv rays are labelizers they destabilize the lysosomal membrane now the very important thing about the lysosome is their function they are chiefly concerned with digestion inside the cell they do various sorts of digestion so here are the functions of lyso soms number 1 is they are concerned with cellular digestion means they are concerned with autolysis they digest cellular components such as 
mitochondria er etc not only this they are concerned with digestion of external particles which enter the cell they are also responsible for extra cellular digestion to justify this extra cellular digestion i will be quoting a example like lysosome of the sperm digest egg membranes so this is the digestion outside the cell hence we are calling it as extracellular digestion fourth one they are also concerned with intracellular digestion means they digest the substances present inside the cell so you can see here that they are chiefly concerned with the digestion whether it is the matter of cellular digestion digestion of external particles extracellular digestion intracellular digestion you can see that the chief role is digestion and all this digestion is done with the help of the enzymes filled in them known as the hydrolytic enzymes or the digestive enzymes and at the last you must also know about that how they are originated they are originated from er as well as the golgi body always remember endoplasmic reticulum golgi body together form lysosome how they are originated they are originated together by endoplasmic reticulum as well as by the golgi bodies so uh, students this was a brief description about the lysosomes we'll be back with soon with few more topics thank you